you know, with that first consultation we had there at the office, especially the site survey, that's always very important. So we know exactly where we can and can't build. And that kind of, you know, helps me along with uh, the space that I have to use because we need to have the right amount of deck, the right amount of pool. Uh, keeping things more linear kind of goes with what you guys did on the inside as well, because this is an extension of your living space. It just happens to be outside. And so, yeah, it was nice that we were able to tweak things. I know one thing that we did do, which I do on a lot of designs, is kind of, we call them swimming pools, but you know, they're not as large as say up north where you have a three or four acre backyard. So we do a lot of additional seating in the pool. And tell me about some of that uh, that we did here in your design. Yeah, so one thing that was important to me was to have a sun shelf because I just, we've seen that in resort pools that we visited in different locations and we thought that was really cool. And you were able to incorporate that. We originally had that kind of over on this side and we changed that. My husband's desire was the bar stools. Sure. So that gave us some extra seating. And then the bench on either end really helps to, again, give more seating, more just overall use of the pool. We're looking forward to that. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, here in Florida, especially coming up here in the summer, it gets so hot, uh, you almost want to live in the pool, but you don't necessarily want to stand the whole time or kind of float necessarily the whole time. So this extra bench seating that we did, as well as, you know, just for the design aspect, that it was symmetrical on either end other than, of course, the additional space for the sun shelf. But yeah, I'm biased. I have two bar stools in my pool with the outdoor TV that you have here. I mean, it's the perfect place you feel like you're at a resort. It's the perfect height, everything. You don't hit your knees. Everything was designed to perfection to make it enjoyable. And we that is literally where we sat this weekend watching sports on awesome, TV. Awesome, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you watch your Maryland Turpin win, right? You were saying, yes. Yes. <laughs> so a lot. One other thing then, obviously, that you can't help but notice, especially when you walk in the front door and you come to the sliders, is the water feature there. Tell me a little bit about what we did there, especially just, you know, even not only the water feature itself, but kind of the textures that we use there in the materials. Yeah, so it was kind of neat. We looked at some different design elements that you had used in other pools without that wall with the waterfall effect and the sheer descent. We really liked that, but we obviously don't have propane here in the right. neighborhood. So we opted for these fire bowls that literally glow and and they do look like fire at night it's really amazing to see this pool at night but you know we wanted to set those apart and having the the stacked stone feature on the fire bowls really did set that apart it does you have the texture of the split face travertine and obviously the nice shimmering smooth glass and we kind of did that knife edge too right we didn't do any coping there on the top of that beam there exactly and, uh, and the planter in back with the colors the red sister plant you know everything just sets it off very very beautifully so it's Pretty to hear, pretty to look at, and I'm just glad everything turned out the way that uh, we were all hoping for. If you're interested in having a pool built by Superior Pools, please visit www.superiorpools.com.